This week we have your complete spring summer camping guide. The latest in caravans, tents, smart tech, everything. If you love the great outdoors, you won't want to miss it. And we have some genuine Hollywood superstars joining us. Brad Pitt, what? Emma Thompson and screen icon Jane Fonda. Age is a wonderful thing. See you tomorrow. Hello. Well, still a few showers moving through this evening, but the bulk has passed and it was a bit hit and miss today. We had showers on and off here in the city with a top of 15 after a low of 10. Uh, if we take a look around the suburbs, it's a pretty similar story too. We saw gusty showers falling through our Adelaide and falls upwards of 10 millimetres through the hills. Even some small hail reported in the foothills. There's still a little bit left in it tonight. In the north, we saw lightning and isolated thunderstorms over parts of the York and Air Peninsulas with 19 millimetres over Elliston and 14 in the gauges at Streaky Bay. To the south, thunderstorms over Kangaroo Island with 24 millimetres at Pandana and close to 20 mils at the Kings Code Airport. It didn't reach land in the southeast until quite late today and it's still sort of happening there at the moment. Now things will start to weaken off this evening as that front moves further east, but have a look at what's happening near WA. It's a pretty complex system of three cold fronts and the first is looking quite windy and intense and that's due to reach us on Tuesday. It'll be over WA tomorrow where there's a bunch of severe weather warnings in place and it's also looking a little wet over on the east coast. Back home, dry and even sunny through parts of the north tomorrow. Sunshine and 17 for Port Pirie and 18 for Wyala. But those showers are still hanging around to the south. There's a chance of a thunderstorm, even small hail tonight through the southeast. Possibly more storms tomorrow morning. Strong wind warnings remain in place along the central and southeast coasts. And on local waters, winds west to northwesterly at 20 knots, easing during the afternoon and seas at around a metre. Across Adelaide, still a chance of the odd shower around tomorrow, but not a lot in it after things ease off this evening. Top in the mid-teens right across the board. Similar story also in the city. There'll be a shower or two with a top of 15. If we take a look then at Tuesday, it will be a dry start, but once that next cold front hits in the afternoon, we're looking at more showers and also damaging winds, possibly up to 50 kilometres an hour. Uh, and then throughout the rest of the week, as that series of cold fronts continues to roll through, we'll see showers off and on most days, really. So look, a pretty wet start to August, but I think after such a dry July, that rain will be welcome, Will. It certainly will be, Alice. Thank Thank you. And that is Adelaide's Nine News for this weekend. I'm Will McDonald. Have a great evening. Good night.